There's a lot of good racing this weekend out in uh, Arlington Park. Great turf racing. We got some interesting things happening in Iowa, among others. But of course, the biggest racing of this weekend happens at Belmont Park. The Stars and Stripes card is loaded with graded stakes, Matt. It's also loaded with good horses. Let's start with the biggest of all. Matt, I think this is the best Belmont Derby yet. Yeah, I tell you, Brian, after the, the tremendous fields and racing on, on Belmont Stakes Day, um, it's just amazing this card that they've come up with Belmont at Belmont Park. Uh, most of the fields are big, and they're loaded with really quality horses, and the Belmont Derby is certainly the headliner, $1.2 million in this grade one race, where these three-year-old uh, males are going to go 10 furlongs on the Belmont Park inner track, which figures to be very hard and very fast. That firm turf is, is sure to produce some strong times as it has for most of this early season at Belmont Park, Matt. You know, uh, normally in a race like this, a mile and a quarter uh, big turf race, I would be looking for the best Euro, and that's probably hunting horn coming from uh, – the barn of Aiden O'Brien. But I tell you what, Matt, this year, the American turf horses, I think they have more turf potential than in many years, uh, many recent years. And we'll start with what happened at Belmont Park in the Pennine Ridge, because I think two of the good ones are right there in the Pennine Ridge. It looked like Analyze It had that race won. And then, of course, Catholic Boy making his return to grass came back at him and won the Pennine Ridge. It was certainly an unusually run race, particularly when you're considering that it was Analyze It, who had been unbeaten to that point and ha had run all of his races in that fashion, making a, a strong move down the stretch and drawing away from his competition easily. And it sure looked like that's what was going to be happening um, in the Belmont Derby um, as he went by Catholic boy, but when he went by, he, he lugged in and, and possibly probably interfered with Catholic boy and, and throwing that in there, it looked like it was just going to be an easy, another easy victory for analyze it. But amazingly, uh, Catholic boy, they pulled her off the rail, moved her to the outside of analyze it. And, Catholic boy just came back and went by and won the race in, in a very unusual fashion. Of course, Catholic boy is a very good horse. And I think the return to turf got Catholic boy back on his best surface. Absolutely. Catholic boy was a good dirt horse. He won the Remsen stakes and he was involved in uh, some stakes races uh, down in Florida, especially, but uh, analyze it, Matt. He's, he's my top three year old turf horse in America. His first three races, two last year, and then uh, starting out in Keeneland this year, were just superlative. Uh, the son of point of entry, uh, chained by Chad Brown, was beaten in that Pennine Ridge. But I, I, I think that there was something funny going on there in that race, and I don't think it was his best performance. In fact, if you look at that race on mile and eighth, where they ran 145 and change, by the way, and they really left the rest of the field behind, it would look like Analyze It doesn't want a mile and a quarter. I don't think that's the case. I think it was just one of those things. The son of Point of Entry, I think, will be fine at a mile and a quarter. And I expect a big performance, a bounce back performance here in the Belmont Derby. Having said that, you had Catholic Boy, three for four on turf, uh, uh, multiple uh, stakes winner on turf already in New York, and ran a very good race in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf last year. So Catholic Boy is a real uh, good turf horse and certainly a major threat in here, as is a lightly raced another horse who's three for four on turf, Hawkish, Matt. Hawkish is a horse we've been hearing about for a while. Son of Artie Schiller, who was a Breeders' Cup mile winner. Uh, Hawkish has looked really good in his first four races on turf, winning three of them, including an impressive win last time, going a mile in the Penn Mile at Penn National. Yes, and Hawkish is uh, trained by uh, Jimmy Toner, who is, is quite adept at developing talented horses on the turf. Uh, you know, you've got these three horses. They, they have similar records, graded stakes wins, three out of four victories on the turf. Um, they are all super quality American turf horses. And if, if you're going to separate them, I personally, I got to drop hawkish down a little bit 
just because there might be a question about the distance. It, it looks like Hawkish is probably going to be better at a mile, but we won't know that for sure until this race is run. But if I have to make some decisions in this Belmont Derby, uh, that's what's going to have me putting Hawkish a little bit below, analyze it, and Catholic boy. I think the winner is going to come from those three, except there are other quality horses in the field, like my boy Jack, who was last seen finishing a very, very nice fifth in the Kentucky Derby after uh, doing well on the Derby Trail. But we need to remember that my boy Jack started out his career with a bunch of races on the turf and ran well on the turf. Um, I'm not convinced that the turf is the best surface for my boy Jack, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that horse. Absolutely. Getting back to Hawkish, Matt, I agree with you. Uh, we really don't know now. I wouldn't be surprised if Hawkish could uh, could uh, stretch out and do well at a mile and a quarter. But yeah, all, all of his wins are at a mile so far. And being a son of Artie Schiller, you have to wonder about the mile and a quarter, but a very impressive young American turf horse, another one as well. You know I like analyze it a little bit better than the other Americans, but I'm with Matt here. I, a strong American cast, Catholic boy and hawkish are scary turf horses for analyze it. My boy Jack, yeah, I, I'm with you too, Matt. Uh, good turf form, uh, plenty of good turf form last year. Uh, he's raced exclusively on dirt that uh, uh, worked for Catholic boy in the Pennine Ridge. We certainly wouldn't put past my boy Jack to uh, to run a big race in his return to turf. Or uh, DeSormo and DeSormo. And we know, one thing we know about my boy Jack is the distance shouldn't be a problem uh, because in the Kentucky Derby, he was fifth, beaten several lengths, but uh, it was really a good performance because uh, uh, considering the wide trip and a little bit of trouble, uh, my boy Jack ran a very good Kentucky Derby. And then we have Hunting Horn, uh, Aiden O'Brien trained horse. Uh, he, he hadn't really broken through. He ran a good enough French Derby. He was sixth, but he wasn't beaten by very much at all. And then he came to Royal Ascot, Matt, and he got a firmer turf than he ever got before. So the son of Camelot, one of the top young sires in the world, uh, really ran a big race. It, it wasn't one of Royal Ascot's best races, but he looked good in winning the Hampton Court. And uh, that was uh, that was uh, June 21. So he'll be coming back on relatively short rest, but that's not unusual for good European turf horses to do. Uh, firm turf, he'll get it again at Belmont, and he'll also get Lasix for the first time. So another scary horse in hunting form. Yeah, it, it, it's the dream team coming over from, uh, from Great Britain. It's Aiden O'Brien. It's the Coolmore gang. It's Ryan Moore riding, and it's first time Lasix. Um, normally, I would be attracted to that, uh, to all of those factors, but you know, I, I think this American trio is awfully strong um, in the past, even though Aiden O'Brien has had a lot of success bringing horses to the Breeders' Cup. He hasn't been quite quite as successful bringing horses to New York. And yes, Hunting Horn liked the firmer surface at Ascot, but that's a that's a different kind of surface than the firm surface that he's going to be seeing at Belmont Park. So um, it'll be interesting to see how Hunting Horn does. But I'm leaning to the Americans, and I'm also going to look for analyze it to turn the tables on Catholic Boy. Well, there you go, Matt and I both like analyze it to bounce back after that Pennine Ridge. Uh, uh, a strange defeat to Catholic Boy, where he looked home free. And Matt, we've, there, there's other good horses, other good Europeans coming over. Maraud looked really good on the wet turf at Churchill Down a few starts ago. So really good Belmont Derby. But Matt and I are both on Analyze It on Saturday. <laughs> 